Hi, I'm Salem Willard. And I'm Jonas Carpenter, and together we're Bread and Roses Gardens. Bread and Roses began in 2011. Uh, both Jonas and I had known each other for a year up to that point, and we both really enjoy working with plants. We both have experience uh, working with plants and, and doing landscaping work. And um, we decided to basically put everything we had and available uh, resource-wise into starting a nursery. Um, and a nursery to, to produce permaculture plants, which are edible plants and plants that are otherwise generally useful. And we had a couple of plant sales in the spring and fall of 2011. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive and we want to try and expand. In 2013, we're planning on having a booth at the Bloomington Farmer's Market for the first time. By selling at the farmer's market, we'll be providing people with plants as well as knowledge and information that will allow them to grow more food at home. And the end result is that this is gonna increase Bloomington's food security and resiliency because the more um, knowledgeable people we have here growing food, the less we have to rely on outside sources. And that's a really big part of what we do, uh, both in the nursery itself, day to day, but also in terms of how our business can expand and enrich the surrounding community. One thing we grow a lot of are edible species. We love to grow edible plants because people have already have a good attachment to them and know what they love to eat. Nuts, fruits, berries, roots, greens. Also, uh, these edible species are great because you can play with them in your landscape. You don't have to have a garden space set aside for them. You know, that space next to your walkway or your driveway is a perfect spot for a berry bush or a fruit tree. Another great thing we offer are a lot of medicinal species. And we produce a lot of plants that are good for teas, good for different medicines, good for making salve or ointments. The flowers are a big part of what we do at the nursery. We like to grow flowers because they attract certain beneficial insects, birds, bees, all sorts of those lovely creatures you like to see floating around the landscape. And as well, flowers provide that beauty to your landscape, which everyone wants. We grow a lot of species that aren't available locally. And we grow them in a manner that is caring for the land we live on and caring for the, the land that the plants will go to. We're growing our plants without chemicals, without fertilizers, without fungicides. Currently, we're dividing our time between landscaping and nursery work. And we both would really enjoy to be able to do a lot more nursery work. Being, at, being there at the nursery, doing the work like propagating, dividing, grafting, making cuttings. So a big part of what we do uh, would be in community engagement. Um, so far, how we've done that is through education work, doing workshops, uh, as well we've been doing some lectures and also having a few interns now and again. So your pledge to Bread and Roses will help us be at the nursery doing the things that we love to do the most, like digging in the dirt, playing with plants, starting seeds in the greenhouse, looking over plant catalogs, dreaming and playing and just getting ready for the seasons ahead. The most important thing to consider uh, when you're thinking about making a pledge to Bread and Roses Gardens is that we really want to create a strong local food economy and having a local nursery that focuses on edible and what we call permaculture plants is, is vital to that. Basic needs um, in starting a nursery that we could use more help in are simple things like pots, plants, soil amendments. Once we have our basic needs met, we can move into thinking more about reliable transportation for getting our plants to market. Um, we could possibly offer seasonal employment to more people in the local community. So we hope in the future to expand our greenhouse space. With a greater investment in our business, we can set deeper roots in the community that will continue to feed people for years to come. So we're not just your average nursery. We're here to provide education and food and the plants that will provide that for people in the future. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any feedback, we'd love to hear it. Uh, please check out the website, breadandrosesgardens.com. Uh, thank you so much.